What I like about this movie is that he tries to do something. Uh Small things hang me up, like when the Hulk enlarges and then he comes back to be a, a real guy and the shorts still fit, so then I can't follow anything. <laughs> Uh, sea biscuit. The horse that single-handedly saved America from the Depression. It's a crude history lesson that uses a narrator to tell us things instead of using drama to show us things. The narrator takes what should be a subtext and turns it into an uber text and rams it down our throats and says, Sea biscuit symbolizes America. When Sea Biscuit wins the race, that means America wins the race too. You had to like the narrator. That guy narrates your life, everything's exciting. Dramas are supposed to show you things. That narrator just tells you things and Professor beats you over the head Chris over. was potty trained by the age of seven. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Captain Jack Sparrow. Not sure I deserve it. Danielle, what do you think? Call me old fashioned, but uh, Johnny Depp makes me weak in the vagina. <laughs> that makes two of us. <laughs> Brian, what'd you think? I thought Dudley Moore did a great job of playing Johnny Depp. In <laughs> <laughs> I thought it was great. I read the book, I was a history major in school. I, it was historically accurate. The only thing that surprised me was how much the owner looked like Jeff Bridges. <laughs> <laughs> totally. I like the part where Seabiscuit uh, kicked the field goal. <laughs> that was good. Hello, Patriots. I don't think I've been this excited since Gucci became a publicly traded company. Oh my God, it's Capital Barbie. Yeah, I think the one movie that actually got more laughs than Legally Blonde 2 was uh, The Pianist. <laughs> <laughs> if there's not a guy in a bondage hood raping some guy in a pawn shop, you don't like the movie. <laughs> <laughs>